Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, so here we go. This is what we got to do. I need to transition between this computer and the new computer. The only thing is, is that I don't want to rush through it and I also don't want to be without a system while I am transitioning between this one and the new one. Second, to help save some costs, I would like to borrow a few parts out of here. I want to borrow the block, the flow meter, and the radiator and probably the reservoir um, everything else will be replaced also I was thinking that I can just simply convert this back to air cool and to do that with we have the Lipra set it down right here we have the Lipra Neo Vision or Neo Neo Lusion Neo Lusion it's an RGB uh, heat sink you can kind of see it right there how it lights up and stuff uh, this is an expensive heat sink it's about 65 70 bucks for this one uh, but it's by Lipra, so um, we're going to use this to convert that. Also, I haven't decided whether or not if I'm going to take the GPU bracket out or not. I guess that really depends on if the the CPU cooler will fit. It should fit. Uh, fit. It should fit. I did take kind of like a measurement, and it looks good. Um, although I do want to put that GPU bracket in the new case. Although I don't know if that will fit yet. So we're just kind of playing. But what we got to do today is we got to drain it and start tearing it apart. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and this is what we're doing. Disconnect the plug, and there is a valve underneath here. There we go. Valve is open, and now we're just going to tilt the computer back. You can see it. Whoa, geez. Man, a lot of water came out on that one. Let's tilt it back. Get as much of it out as I can. And then any residual water, which there is, the radiator is full and the lines are still full. What you want to do is hook you a hose to that top to that top reservoir up there and blow into it and you'll blow all the water out of the system. Put that cap back on. See that was one of the things that I did is I incorporated a drain valve into the build which is a very important step. People will put these loops together and then they'll be like wait a minute how do I fill it? How do I drain it? Well smart person thinks out where they're going to put their drain valve. Alright, so we got the drain pretty much filled. The next thing I want to do is pull this graphics card out because that doesn't need to be in the way while we're trying to get the system prepped. Look at that. See that right there? That's corrosion. See that? I had a leak. And it dripped down onto the PCI Express riser card. Get rid of that hair. Right there. Ooh, that's not good. Right on top of the M.2 drive. I bet that's the reason why my system started to kind of act weird. Wow. And that's why you have to do maintenance on these things. Right there. Good example. Get a good little pool. Let me just get that. Pull that reservoir out. Okay, 
Okay, reservoir. Cables. This. Let's see here. Okay. That's the that's the outlet for the CPU. Man, how in the world did I get these things on so tight? There we go. This one has water in it. I can see it in the line. There it goes. This up here, I don't want to leak, so I'm going to put a plug in it. And then also for this end, if I can get it out, I guess not. Well, I was going to put a plug in it, but I guess I could just put my finger over it. And just kind of jerk it out there we go like that flow meter see that one there's water dripping out of it I guess I can go ahead and take the block out now this block should just slide off there. Nice. Look at that. It got super hot and it actually caused the thermal paste to a uh, CPU wick or wick kind of melt. Um, either that or there was just too much on it, which that probably could have been my fault as well. But all right. So far we got it all pulled apart. Now I need to get the radiator out and get that back plate off for that CPU um, and then keep going from there. Nice. Okay, wow. All right, get that off. All right, zip those out. And then we can probably zip the rest of it out. We got to clean these though. All right, so I got everything pulled out, all of the stuff that I needed. I was taking a further look into this, and you can clearly see the watermark and that it did originate from this fitting. And man, did it corrode the whole thing up! Oof, I put way too much on there. 
Alrighty. Okay. Well, our next job is to clean it. The best way to clean these parts is with Dawn dish soap and water. Hot, warm water. You just want to stick them in there, wash them around. You can even put them in your dishwasher if you like. Just make sure that if you do use a soap or any type of compound to wash these, that you rinse them very, very well. And you can even put, you can try to put water in this and run some through it. Basically, the best way to do it is to hook a pump through it and then just pump, you know, a few gallons of water through it just to kind of flush out any sediment that may be built up into it. As far as your tubes go, um, you can throw them in the box because they only fit this system. So there's no need uh, really for anything else. But like I said, you could use them for other bills and stuff. Like that's a really nice long piece right there. I could cut that and rebend it to fit the new system. And this right here, this is the reservoir. Look how cloudy it is. See the cloudiness in it? Yeah, that's a good sign that it's time to change it. Oh yeah, so let's wash all this stuff out. Alright, so I'm starting to tear apart the block, and I think I figured out where my leak came from. You see those, those lines? One, two, three, four. Alright, and then there's a couple of lines right there. You can see that one right there. Those are cracks, and that is what's causing my leak. Either they were tightened down too hard, the heat, pressure, something caused it to crack. And what happens is, is when I squeeze that valve down in there, it opens those cracks up and it causes the leakage that we see around the corner here. So that's what that is. Alright, let's put this in our new CPU cooler. This is why it's important to keep the box. So you can put all this stuff back into it. the crossbars or uh, no these that's all we need these we don't need these so I gotta disassemble this Voila! There you have it. So, that blue looks great, man. The ring fan looks good. The fans in the front are lit. Top are lit. Alright, everything looks good. Thank you guys for watching. Um, now since I've done this process, I'll have something to do while I build the other computer. The 10th gen monster. So that's the next video coming up. We'll start working on that thing here very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Leave me a like. Thank you for watching. Check out some of our other videos. We're on Facebook too. Join our group. Check out our page. Thanks guys. Appreciate y'all. Make sure to leave a comment below if you got something to say.